welcome back to Blue Collar Bass and TV. On today's video, guys, we're gonna be deep diving into this Sea Eagle 285 inflatable pontoon boat. You know, my channel is known for doing the Sun Dolphin American 12 foot John boat build. And guys, today, if you're looking for something that is more portable and is really easy for one person to fish off of, please stay tuned for this video. You're not gonna be disappointed. Guys, this boat is so portable and it comes in a various different configurations. This model is the one that actually has the hard seat that has the seat post and everything on it. So it's gonna be a little bit more weight, but this boat comes in at 45 pounds, just the boat and the hull itself. Uh, sea Eagle also makes a version that has an inflatable seat. This whole boat, when deflated, can turn into a backpack. So it's super portable. If you're into backpacking back into the back country, and let's say you wanna go float down the river, this boat is for you. Okay, this material that this boat is made out of is 1,000 denier polyester coated fabric. It is really durable. This is not gonna get punctured very easily, okay, I promise. And up here on the tips of the pontoons, it's reinforced with really thick plastic or rubber material. So you're not gonna to have to worry about that getting tore up over time. Okay guys, this boat features two really nice grab handles up here. That way, if you and your buddy wanna grab the boat, there's also two in the back. And even with the battery box here and the trolling motor, this still is less than 100 pounds fully loaded. And if you're throwing your rods and your other gear on there, you're probably looking at around 100 pounds. So still very portable. And it's still gonna allow you to get back in the back country and pack this in with ease. Okay, up here, the seat is actually mounted to, it's like a quarter inch to half inch piece of plywood. This comes like this from the manufacturer and that's what the actual seat post is mounted to. And that's gonna allow you the ability to stand up on this boat and fish. And right here, this did not come with the boat. This was just something that we made. And this goes up here, that's gonna extend out this casting deck that way you can fish a little bit further up on the boat. And this is really, really stable, guys. If you're looking for something that you can stand up and fish on and pitch, flip, things like that, this is gonna be the boat for you. These pontoons allow this boat to be super stable when on the water. Okay, so this boat does feature the ability to mount a trolling motor on the back. So you can probably go about four to five miles per hour on the water, which can kick up some water. So right here on the front, it actually has a little deflector. That way the water isn't coming up onto the platform here. And right here you see, it's kind of like a catch board. So if you're doing any kind of bass tournaments or anything, you can actually measure your fish here. And it has these little buckles to where you can actually move this back to this spot and measure your fish as well. So it offers oars. So, you know, always have a backup option in case your trolling motor goes out. Well, this boat comes pre-installed with a set of oars. And they're retained with this hook and loop system here. And you're ready to go. Okay, so you can actually turn this around and oar the boat the original way, or you can just go forward too. Okay, but this is gonna give you a good backup option, or this could be your primary option as well. You don't have to go out and get a trolling motor to get this thing on the water, especially if you're gonna be backpacking in, you're not gonna to have to do that. And also, if you wanted to remove these because you don't want them, you can do that as well. And this, and then just have a regular paddle as a backup option. And these oars are really light as well. And the brackets are molded to this material very solidly. It's not gonna come loose and it's not gonna be an issue. All right, you see how easy it was to stand up? You can just fish with ease, guys, off of this. So like I said before, this is the premium seat that you get with the pro package if you order from seaeagle.com. Okay, it comes with this nice padded seat. It's gonna give you a lot of comfort and ease of fishing when you're having a long day out on the water. And you do have the ability to swivel this seat around. Okay, I will say though, if you do have a trolling motor hooked up on this, the battery 
can get in the way a little bit if you're trying to swivel that seat around. So that might be something that you have to look out for. Also, this boat features nice Scotty mounts right from the factory. So if you're looking to, you know, run some uh, rod holders on this, it already has them. Now let's say you're gonna do some catfishing. You can get the bigger three or four mount Scotty systems and plug right into this and any other kind of Scotty mount accessories on the market. Okay, back here, we actually have the bracket to where you can mount a trolling motor. This bracket is just a solid piece of wood that is reinforced with this metal frame. And if you zoom in up here, it's actually retained by brackets molded to the plastic itself and back here. So it's gonna be a solid mount but it's also gonna allow you to fit this down backpack size in the field. Okay, so it pops out really easy once you have it deflated. So if you look back here, we've actually drilled in a uh, eyelet right here to where you can run a anchor. Okay, so I just run it up to my seat and tie it off and you can actually just drop your anchor right down. So nice little mod you can do to this boat. Okay, so like I said before, this boat without this type of seat, if you have the inflatable seat, is only 45 pounds, so it's really portable. It is also nine feet long, okay, when it's fully inflated, so still that very portable size. Let's flip this thing over. Okay, as you can tell, we've had this thing for several years, and we're just now getting around to a review, but this thing has been through a lot, and look, there is really no wear and tear at all. And then the high rub areas here, it's reinforced with more of that really thick rubber material. That way it's gonna provide even more longevity. And you can see how solid that is where the, the platform is mounted from underneath the boat here. Okay guys, so this boat does have little ports to where you can fill it up with air. I'll actually provide a photo of that. I don't have it out here today, but it does come with a foot pump where you can fill this up in the field. And the website actually says less than five minutes. I've actually never packed this in and done it in the field, uh, but I'm sure it wouldn't take too long. It's a pretty nice pump. It also features two bags that come with the kit. There's a bag that you can actually replace this catch board, put it up here. That way you can store some extra gear. And the other bag it comes with is so you can actually fold this up and put it in the bag and pack it in. So the weight ratings on this, it says one person or 350 pounds. So that's talking about the individual, but it also says 450 pounds with the motor in gear. So I think that is pretty good. Uh, I don't think you're gonna really put that much gear on here. You can, okay, so we're actually gonna rig this up with the trolling motor and the Minn Kota uh, power station here. This is actually a really cool kit if you want it. It has a built-in circuit breaker and a battery tester. So that's something you really want to have out on the water. That battery tester is going to allow you the ability to see what your battery charge is like when you're out on the water so you don't get stranded. But like we said before, you do have a backup option with these oars. So that's a big plus for this boat. Also, the circuit breaker is going to protect your investment with this trolling motor because if you were to get hung up on, let's say, a stump or a rock, it's gonna to try to pull more power and the circuit breaker is actually gonna kick in and protect your investment. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the boat. And this power center fits really nice down in the back of this boat. Also, if you're not gonna be running a power center, you could run a small fishing crate back here and actually put some rods back here as well. Guys, I'm gonna put it in the description box, but if you look at my DIY tackle box build, that tackle box actually fits perfect back here. And if you have a small little marine battery, it'll fit right down in that box as well. And you just add some rod holders and you're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and put this transom mounted trolling motor on here and show you guys how it hooks up. And with ease, you can see, I'm gonna just tighten this down. And if you're wondering what trolling motor this is, this is the Minn Kota Endura C2 in the 30 pound thrust. The 
because this is a great option for a trolling motor. I'm just gonna flip that around. Okay, this is not gonna hit your boat. Okay, so you need to be mindful of where the propeller is. It can hit your boat if you go all the way around or maybe let the wind take it. So you do need to be mindful of that. But if you have it down in the very down position, it shouldn't hit your boat at all. So what that kind of looks like, you know, we can swivel this seat just a little bit, okay, and you're driving the boat nice and easy. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna do it in this video, but go ahead and hit that notification bell so that way in the future, I'm gonna roll out the Minn Kota Power Center review on this Power Center. That way you can check it out. And also, I'm gonna do a separate review on this Minn Kota and Dura C2 30 pound thrust trolling motor. Guys, I hope you like this video. I also want to have a shout out to Country Kimchi Soul and Kimchi over at his channel. Please go check out his channel. He actually is the one who owns this boat. He was gracious enough to let me go ahead and do a review on it. Uh, but follow him. He actually goes out and fishes off of this thing. And if you're wondering how it performs, he'll definitely be able to show you how that works. If you're new to the channel, Blue Collar Bass and TV is all about getting out and fishing on a budget. And we also do a lot of DIY builds, such as that American 12 foot John boat and different budget reviews like this. This whole setup you can get for under a thousand bucks, just like that John boat. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become part of the channel. If you haven't already, hit that like button if you like this video. Turn on that notification bell and stay tuned for those next videos. And thank you for watching.